everybody, we're here at Fort Lauderdale Beach. It's a beautiful day. Thank you for joining us. My name is Jay Matthew. I'm an artist designer about to launch a new fashion line. And I'm going to show you how somebody like you, like me, and how Joe the Plumber starts our own clothing brand. I've had the privilege of learning hands-on from the School of Hard Knocks over the last 10 years. Now I'm going to give you everything you need to know about the business. So whether you're just interested in the process or you're an entrepreneur yourself, you're going to love this show. We're here with uh, Olivia. She is a buyer and a manager of a store in Wisconsin on the Great Lakes. So we're working and doing some test shots for our new uh, Eternal Faith line by Jay Matthew. Uh, the shirt we're wearing, this is a OG uh, women's tank that we're doing. We have our spirit logo in the center here. We have uh, the crystals in there. Uh, that's our main logo over here is a design to see repeated over and over. We got the nail heads on the side, the crystals in the center, uh, I got the signature right there, the J. Matthew. Uh, right there, that is Chinese calligraphy. I actually painted that by hand on a painting with a Chinese calligraphy brush. And the, the letters stand for Honest Faith Love, which goes with the whole Eternal Faith brand. Okay, good. Look over the shoulder for me, Olivia. Good. Awesome, okay. We just finished our, uh, our sample run. So the, the first thing we did is just a few dozen, which is going to go out to our salespeople and to the models basically to get the catalog done. The salespeople will then take them to the different trade shows and they'll actually uh, collect orders for us. Once the orders come in, we'll be able to gauge really what kind of uh, turnaround and how much we'll need to actually mass produce. We definitely want to be very diverse and have like a diversity of different looks going on. Okay, okay. good. That should be enough for today. Uh, I need you to call Danny, set up a reservation for 3 o'clock at Trina's. I need to talk to him about the music for the show, and I want to show you guys the catalog, uh, see what you think of the new designs, okay? I'm really excited. Awesome. Okay. Bye, honey. Bye. I'll see you in about Thank half an hour, okay? Right. Set the reservation. Shy, let's go. Cool. This is uh, my brother, Shy. He's got a twin, actually. He's in uh, law school at, uh, for the University of Miami, his, and his twin brother is a pre-med right now. I'm the artist, so we really got to make this, I uh, got to make the family proud. We're going to talk a little bit about the shirt right now. This is the Lion of Judah design uh, that I did. This is one of our highest end pieces from the upcoming line, and there's a whole bunch of different elements. Now, you get to see a lot of stuff in the stores, you get to see a lot of stuff in TV, but you don't ever really get to find out what goes into making the shirt. Uh, most people just look at this and be like, I don't really know what I'm looking at. I'm going to break it down for you, which is what's going to differentiate this from any other shows. Right now, the first thing you're looking at here is the lion design. This is a, uh, a, a calligraphy drawing that I did with a calligraphy pen and ink brush, as well as this, the little crown with the wings over here and the star. Uh, this represents a lion that I drew, and I'm going to show you the original drawing that I did right now. Basically, what this is, this is some of the research that I was doing for this. I drew a couple different ones. I do these freehand, one take. It takes me about two or three seconds to do one of them maybe and then hopefully you know you do hundreds of them or however many it takes and eventually you get a couple good ones uh... this one actually only did a few then back to the shirt again we have a little embroidery right here given the name of the shirt uh... the Lion of Judah shirt right here this is the embroidery i went and did a little stitching design uh... we over here and here we did some random stitching designs okay and right here on the bottom we took a, a phrase out of Revelation 5.5. 5. So you see it right over here. I put the, the phrase in right there where it's from, and I'll show you the, uh, the excerpt on the back of the shirt. Behind all this, in the background, this is actually a picture of a palm tree that you see, along with some more uh, calligraphy drawings. I did some other, a couple different logos. A uh, name right here. We got this on the sleeve. This is another little logo of ours as well. Here on the back of a shirt, we have many different elements. This is a little excerpt I have from uh, Revelation over here. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son. Thou art gone up. He stooped down. He couches a lion as an old lion who shall rouse him up. Okay, that's a little phrase. This little piece right here is it's basically a goat's head and uh, some angels. That was actually a door knocker. That is a picture that I took in Peru off a of presidential palace in Peru. And we're going to show you the picture for that in just a minute. Back over here, this is another piece. Uh, this was actually Rotem's idea to put the pyramids into the shirt. Uh, this summer, actually, my brothers and I were in Egypt visiting over there, so that was kind of our inspiration. This actually comes out of a painting of mine. 
So with that, I kind of leave the interpretation up to you guys sometimes. Uh, see, let you make out of it what you want. This is the painting that it came out of. I call this painting The Path Beyond. It's actually been sold to a friend of mine. We had to get it back for the shoot. Over here, this is the pyramids that you see in it. And this is the three pyramids at Giza, which is right outside downtown Cairo. I got some mountains in the background. Uh, I got the scales of justice over here. With, uh, you, you can look at this as either you know, some holy scripture or basically education. We got death, and it's showing that uh, education is actually um, going up, elevating towards the heavens. And at the bottom, which is very tough to see, but if you look real closely, this is supposed to symbolize the fruit from the Garden of Eden. And you can see some footsteps actually walking up the path. And that's why I call this the path beyond. It's very conceptual, very symbolic. I hope you guys like it. You'll see our next shirt, actually, Scales of Justice, is going to come out on a whole separate shirt of its own. And eventually we'll release one, which will actually be the Path Beyond painting on the actual shirt stretch out. Right now we're breaking it down a little elements. Every show I'm going to show you a different painting, different pieces of artwork, and I'm going to explain to you how that goes into the shirts. Nobody else is doing this. That's why we're bringing it to you live on Fashion from the Ground Up. I'm going to take you into the studio now, my little attache, show you where I actually get my painting on and where all the creativity starts to flow. Let's go. Welcome to my studio. This is where all the magic happens. This is where the creativity flows. I'm up in here all hours of the night. I'll show you a couple of my paintings that I'm working on and a little bit about the process of transferring them. This is actually a painting that I'm working on right now. It's uh, three different pieces. It's an abstract of uh, bamboo trees. It's nowhere near done. I've only done the first couple of layers, but you'll see there's some kind of bamboos and some foliage and things going around. It's pretty abstract. This is actually another piece that I have over here that I finished not too long ago. This was inspired by one of my trips uh, to Peru. And basically, the background is the, the green and the yellow is an abstract of Machu Picchu, which was the highlight of the Inca civilization. This is the Inca sun over here. This is a, symbolizes the Inca sun. And the three uh, characters that you see over here was done, again, in one shot with a calligraphy brush. But now you see a little bit where my inspiration comes from, whether it's from trips to Egypt, Thailand, Peru, or even right here in Florida, New York, Las Vegas, anywhere I go, I take a lot of pictures, I take a lot of mental snapshots, and slowly, slowly I start building and putting the concepts together, and then I put them into shirts later on down in the future. I work with oils, acrylics, pastels, charcoal, pencils, all sorts of different stuff. I did this when I was seven years old. Uh, my parents enrolled me in art classes. This was actually my second painting. Uh, I just rescued it from my grandmother's house actually not too long ago. So I'm glad to have her back and, uh, and I can take some pictures of it and it reminds me of the good old days. When we're working on the shirts, it's a very technical process and the printer I've been working with has actually taken him months and months to get this right. Nobody in Florida does, does this type of quality work. Most of the good production that gets done in the United States gets done in LA or San Francisco out on the West Coast. We wanted to work with somebody locally because we got sick and tired of shipping things overseas or over there and going back and forth. It's too much of a hassle and it takes too much time. So I got a, a guy that's actually, they own the largest uh, martial arts manufacturing and uh, distribution company in the United States for uniforms. They went into business with us and they're doing all the production for us. So these are just samples. Every time I choose a color for a shirt, I need to get all the different colors on a shirt like this because what happens is, Every ink prints different on different fabrics. So these are discharge inks, which means they react to the dyes on the fabric. What happens is we print the water-based ink with the discharge powder added into it. It actually eats away the, the dye that was in the shirt, and then it prints the color onto the shirt. So you'll see it's very hard. You'll see the same colors look completely different. These are the exact same colors, and you look, look at the difference in the white. This is a pristine white. From here to here, it looks completely different. We, unfortunately, uh, this takes a lot of time and we have to do a lot of testing for each shirt. This over here is a value scale. This is so I know the range of printing that we have. It just kind of helps me with the opacities and transparencies when I'm working. Uh, it's pretty technical stuff, but it's something that you got to take into consideration when you're working. And it took us a while to iron out this process. Now that we're finally rolling, we got our first few samples that are finally getting done and printed. We're starting to shoot pictures with the models, and you're going to get a sneak preview of the line tonight at the fashion show at Griffin at the Hard Rock. Meeting Danny and Olivia over at Sweden for lunch to talk about the music for the show. I need you.
you to meet me over there, all right? All right, I'll see you in a few minutes. We're out here in front of Trina's, one of my favorite places to eat. I love this place. Let's go inside and see what they got on the special for today. Throughout the season, you're going to get an inside look at the creative process. How the art is made, how we transfer it onto the garments, who and where to sell it to, and the whole marketing aspect. You'll get to live the designer lifestyle step by step. We'll introduce you to photographers, restaurants, nightclubs, the hottest models, and everything South Florida has to offer. We're on the way to meet Danny and Rotem. They're the music producers that wrote all the music for the show tonight at the fashion show. Danny owns a clothing store in Wisconsin, so I'm going to talk to him, show him our new catalog, see what he thinks of the designs, get a little feedback before we put the stuff out on the market. Um, so, tonight, yeah. models are looking hot. I hope you're ready. Models are hot. I think we're going to get there about 8.30, 9 o'clock. We're going to start setting up, helping the models get dressed, with the music on cue, make sure all the, the sound works. Yeah. The kinks and, uh, you know, because we're... And the music. Hey! Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry I'm late. I had to go get the catalog from the car. I wanted to show it to you. It's all good. It's awesome. fine. Awesome. Okay. We ordered you a drink. Awesome. Good to see hey, you. Cool. Good to see you too, man. You know, this is what we're coming out with next season. So yeah. I want to know, you know, get a little feedback from you guys. And what you, how do you think it'll do in the stores? The last line, amazing. We had really good responses from it. Oh, really good. Yeah. You know what this? Well, the King X, that's what I'm going to wear tonight. This? I, I feel like the women are going to go crazy over. Actually, you can you can get this one for us in black and natural. I like that already. That I like, like that. that. I'm going to get a order from you guys soon. Yeah, right. for sure, for sure. Very cool. I love it. Oh, by the way, do you guys have the music for the show tonight? Oh, yeah. You got the CD? Yep. Let's get a little toast for tonight. Toast. A little toast. We'll rock the show tonight. We'll rock the show tonight. Let's 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 rock the show Mm. These are good. Ooh. See, this is why I keep coming to this place. Wow! Chance, chance I can see how this won an award. Yeah. Mm. How was everything so far? Oh, it's it's amazing. Amazing. These, these are, are these are just phenomenal. phenomenal. Oh, thank you. The yeah. drinks are great. These are great. Right? Thank you. I love this kick. Thank this is how. Yeah, it's a nice one. Right? It's a serious drink. Definitely, definitely. Mm. Nice kick to it. Wow, it's such a beautiful day out. I'm glad exactly. we have this view and we're. Guys, excuse me one second. I got a phone call coming in. Uh -huh. Excuse me one second. You know, you know you got a crazy day. Yeah, you know everything with the show. We're busy. Mm. Oh no, we need him tonight for the show. Right, I'll call you back. I'll be right over there. Guys, listen, we have a, a little situation. They're running behind at the store, getting everybody fitted, all the models. All right, cool. Uh, I hate to do this to you guys, but I think I'm going to have to take it to go and run. we got to go uh, get it over to the store sure? and make sure all the models get fitted. Yeah, no, but uh, I, I'll crazy. see you guys tonight at the club. I got the music. All right, cool. Um, be there early so we can do a little sound check, rehearse a little bit. We'll take it from there, okay? In a couple weeks. Let me grab that from okay. you guys. Yeah, I'll be uh, sending one from you guys. I'm looking forward to taking your order. All right, bro. Uh, All right. It was a pleasure seeing you guys. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Hate the run. Bye, guys. Yeah. Uh, can't wait till tonight. I'll see you guys tonight. We're going to rock the show. Uh, yeah. Don't let me forget yeah, the CD. For sure. For sure. For sure. Cool. Good to have you guys. All right. Yes, I will. This is right, a master man. copy right here. It's all mixed down. Sounds any, good. If you need any other help, just let us know. You know, give us a call and we'll stop by over there a little bit earlier. Definitely will. Take care of the mic. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. See you guys later. Let's try it out. Yeah. No. Try it. Go ahead. It's a, a, like, I, I hate to ruin it, but look. We're here in front of Jatem Boutique. Jamie, the owner, is Rotem's fiance. She's also the stylist for tonight's fashion show at the club. And I'm going to show her the catalog as well, see what she thinks, see if we can get an order for her store. So let's go in, see what's going on. We'll check out the store, interview her, find out a little bit about what it takes to own a retail store and run the business. Good, I'm kind of rushed, so where's Jamie and Karina? Um, for finalizing show? all of the sequence for the show. We're planning the, the outfits? Yeah. yeah, well, we're planning, we're just doing the sequence of when the models are going to walk out. Beautiful. Jamie, I brought you a catalog for the new season. I want you to take a look at it. Oh, Tell me what so you think of stuff. Here, take a look. Let me know if, uh, if you got any feedback. You know, we're looking forward to getting some orders, and you always really give us good advice on what we should do, so. 
Oh, this one's hot. I love the dagger in the back and the foil. Yeah, that's going to be one of our top sellers, I think. Oh, I saw your painting. This is one of your paintings, yes, right? that's the one. Oh, I love how you incorporated that in there. I got some girl stuff in the back, too. I got women's, girls, all sorts of different things. You know, we got a pretty good variety. We got the hoodies. Oh, I think sleeves. this one will do great in the store. Cool. For holiday, especially. Just, uh, I'll, just let me know what colors you need for orders and things like that, and we'll get you set up next week. I like how you changed it to the V-neck. That's, that's the one that you wanted to do uh, with the butterfly design, and uh, you picked the colors for. Love it. Yeah. Cool, I think, I think you're, you're good, John. You did a really good job. Awesome, thank you very much. How's everything going with the fashion show? I know you told me you had a little situation. Oh my God, last stressful. night, Chris. Oh my gosh, he basically called me last minute and he has a job with Calvin Klein, the go figure. So, um, so we got mean? saved by a new model who's actually better, so everything happens for a reason, I guess. And cool. we worked it out last minute. So what happened though? Is this new guy going to fit in the same outfit you had planned out for Chris? Well, he came in, thank God, this morning. We fitted him and surprisingly all the outfits fit him perfectly. Really? Yeah. What's his look though? You got a picture? I mean, is he going to fit into our show? Like the theme that we had and everything? Yeah, definitely. He's hot. He's 6'2", you know, hot. Um, he's wearing the Affliction blazer nice. with the... Um, William Ross jeans, and then I have him wearing the Eternal Faith t-shirt with the hoodie over, and so that's going to look really good, and it fits in perfectly. How many, how many times is he walking, though? Three. He has three outfits. Okay. And the and other guys, they also have three or four? Three, and one has four because I thought he was the best one, okay. so we have him. Did you get everything over to the club yet? What time do you need him? No, we just packed it up in the car. Okay. It's actually out front, and uh, we got to be there at 8. We're meeting the hair and makeup people from Yellow Strawberry, so they're going to be meeting us there at 8, getting all the models done. What's the matter, Karina? Oh my god, the clothes. She's not even, she didn't even leave the store yet. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? She's, now she's leaving. I told her to just close the store and leave. And miss out on all the sales? We're, Jamie, we're supposed look to close at what at 10. Oh my god, I don't look understand. The over there, the look at what I, she's leaving. I told her to have the clothes ready. I don't understand. I didn't ask her for details. I just Well, told as her long as you told her she's on her way, there's nothing we can do about it. Let's, you know, focus on what we can do and hope it all works out. We gotta get the show on the road. Yeah, well, I'm excited. I have some questions for you I'd like sure. to ask you about running the store and how that goes. How did you get into this, first of all? Well, um, I grew up in San Francisco. so Big fashion city? Yeah. One day in high school, um, a rep for FI Dan, which is a fashion institute, came in. And I really got inspired. And I did a project for the school, just thinking, you know, whatever. I ended up getting a scholarship, which got really provoked me to go there because it's like $14,000 a year, which is nuts. But I got the scholarship. And long story short, it's been my dream my whole life. My grandma's been a designer and you know my parents helped me out and made it happen and we're doing great we're on our third store and hopefully more to come what is that name Jatem means I love you in French it is spelled a little different J-A-T-E-M which is the first two letters of my name and the last three letters of my fiance's name Aww, that's so that's sweet. how that worked out plus it's the love and passion for fashion that I have is where I came up with that well, let me ask you a question let's say uh, I didn't know you but I was an upcoming designer and I walked in and I wanted you to carry our line like what do I have have to do if I'm a nobody coming in with a brand new clothing line maybe it's great whatever to get your attention to buy from us well first off you know price is everything and you guys have a great price point for your merchandise you know Thank you. the fabric um, basically I would take a small order in the beginning see how it works get the feedback from customers and um, you know first off if I if I like it and I, my instinct says go with it you know I'll try it out and then place uh, reorders with the with the styles that work the best now, do you recommend I just walk in, or do they have to set appointments to um, see you? It's best you? to do appointments with owners. Usually they don't like soliciting, and guys, you know, people come in all the time trying to sell you whatever. So um, the best thing to do is email some line sheets to buyers, contact them, make appointments with their, you know, with the buyers. Yeah, but from past from experience, like a lot of times, if you don't have the connect, like you might not return emails, you don't answer the phone, so... If somebody's really aggressive and they just walk in and, and, and you know, they look nice and presentable, will they, will you... Give them a moment, take a look at their line, and see what they have. And well, with the great selling technique skills that I know you have, I'm sure you can do it, you know. But um, from my experience, when people come in to speak with me, if I like it off the bat, then I will take the time out to speak with them. So the best thing you do is wear something so that they can visually see it without having to pull it out from your you know, garment rack and stuff like that. How do you get the majority of these clothes? Like, where does all this stuff come from? Well, who, do, who do you buy we, from? we go to shows, you know, me and my buyers. Um, we go to shows what in shows? Vegas, um, New York, 
uh, LA and it happens you know a couple times a year every season we go and we build uh, relationships with different brands that work well and we just stick with them and we try out you know new up-and-coming designers and brands like yours that uh, we love putting in the store to be different and we just try to get as many exclusive exclusivities with you know the best brands in the in the industry. Well, what do you think is the hardest part about running a store like this, the operation? Well, for me, being such a young woman, um, owning a store, the hardest thing for me has been, you know, really developing relationships with my employees, you know, and just being really good friends with them and just having that line of, you know, business and pleasure. And that's really, the, you know, the hardest thing for me. Very cool. Thank you for your time, Jamie. We love the store. It's your Temple Peak. Awesome. Thanks, John.
I got you, you a drink. You oh, sure deserve awesome. it. You are the best club manager. Thank you for letting us use the space. We'll be back again. We'll do Pangea next time next door. Sounds good. Anytime. For me? That's for you. Thank you so Sit much. down. You heard awesome. it. Definitely. Thanks. Long nights. Uh, this is a premiere of our line, Eternal Faith by Jay Matthews. The show went great. The crowd loved it. I'm real happy with the turnout. See you guys next time on Fashion from the Ground Up.